Hey guys, welcome back to the Tried Truth. Um, recently, I did a review. Um, well, I I did a giveaway, and the question on that to win the prize was, um, what was my favorite cologne in high school? Which uh, you know, I'm talking like 1987. And um, anyway, the answer was Iron Cologne. A lot of you never heard of it. Anyway, I mentioned that uh, I wouldn't buy it because it was like $200 for a vintage bottle of that. Well, I kept looking and I ended up finding a one ounce bottle for, yeah, the sticker's a little out of place. But I found a one ounce bottle, looks brand new, never been used, for like 30 bucks plus another $9 for shipping. But I got it in a, a couple of days. Um, anyway here it is guys and uh like i said this is just a blast from the past for me um i wish the sticker was on straight but it's not and i'll see if i can fix that anyway it's all about what's in the bottle that counts and um i'll tell you i just hope it still smells as good as it did when i was a kid and i've had a lot of better fragrances by now but uh Anyway, um, this one opens top notes are aldehydes, lavender, lemon, bergamot, and pepper. Um, the heart notes are carnation, rose, geranium, pine, cyclamen, and honey. And the base notes are sandal, uh, patchouli, cedar, tonka, amber, musk, leather, and vanilla. Anyway, it's an oriental aromatic, I think. Um, anyway, it's an older classic and... I'll tell you what, it's been about 35 years since I smelled this, and I'm just hoping that it brings back memories. Oh, it's got a screw top. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, guys, I'm telling you. Still smells good. Wow. It, it's like spicy, warm, but at the same time, it's fruity, and... Um, It's got that 80s vibe, and it's from 1987, like I said. A little hint of barbershoppiness, but not too much. It's, uh, wow, man. Wow. You know, the thing is, is paying 30 for this, I didn't mind it so much. Oh, wow. Just the memories this stuff brings back. I... I can't explain it, you know, but this is probably when it all began for me. I really didn't care about fragrances that much. I mean, there was a couple, and I'm not going to say too much because there's a couple more trivia questions I'll probably ask in some of my future giveaways, but, uh, oh man, this is just really pleasant right here, guys, I'm telling you, and that, the color of that, you know, that, that purple lavender color, that just really says a lot about what this smells like and um oh, so beautiful i really can't understand why somebody hasn't picked up the scent and reformulated it and i mean you could slap a different name on it and you know you could charge 30 50 bucks for this all day long like 100 ml of this you could probably charge anywhere from 50 to 75 dollars and people would buy it i'm telling you it's some great stuff. Um, I can't believe they discontinued it. And there's a few comments here and there about it. But uh, it is a masculine fragrance by Cody, and it was launched in 1987. Um, you know, this site I'm on right here doesn't really say a whole lot about it. Um, let me see here. Let's see, that was Base Notes. Um, Perfume Master uh, online here. Let's see. So, this one says a little bit more about it. It's got a really nice note pyramid here. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, oriental, spicy, uh, exotic spice, oriental spice, woody elements. So, the opening top notes are exotic spices, and then the heart notes are oriental spices, and the deep bass notes are woody elements. So, the fragrance order is warm, spicy, aromatic, dry, woody, spicy, 
and then spicy sweet and then the sensation is kind of exotic warm comforting natural intriguing sensual and attractive this had a a moderate silage with uh, three to six hours of uh, longevity um, summer autumn and any season really occasions were night or day uh, sporty mostly casual audience was um, 19 to 25 26 to 55 56 and up so i mean you know um it was released in 87 and it's uh it's not what does it smell like question as well it is an aroma highlighted by a bouquet of fragrant warm spicy aromatic and dry scented tones that will bring an exotic warm and comforting perfumed sensation examining closer once applied you will notice a lingering quality of softer fragranced woody and spicy and sweet hints that hide an essence of natural intriguing and sensual feelings I, I you know it's an oriental spicy that's that's what its classification is um, so upon a whiff of this you know uh, spice opening uh, top notes spicy the spice heart center notes behind uh, it with uh, oriental while deep woody base notes leave an impression of woody uh, if iron smells like a pleasant smell for your taste or maybe special occasion then the best is to aromatize yourself and give it a try um, sample it before buying it if it blends with your body chemistry and I think that's a big thing here I don't know what it is um, like I said when I would wear it people were like thrown back like wow what are you wearing and i tell them and they'd be like iron that, that and that's some cheap stuff that you can get at the drugstore and it was you could pick this up at harbor drugs and perry drugs back in the day and um you know even then it got a seven out of five a 7.5 out of 10 um and then you know it had pretty good reviews uh, it was moderately priced uh, back in the day you could get it for like 5.99 it looks like um it, and, you know, lasting power, three to six hours, suitable for wearing for summer season, any from 19 to 25 audience group. Anyway, um, and here, you know, some of the reviews, people are like, please bring this back. Has to be one of the best ever. Enjoyed it. It fit me like a glove. It was my personality in a bottle. Um, and then here's another one incredible taste of spices that always keeps me thinking of it it feels truly masculine and serious to wear the only thing is getting so difficult to find now and it is yeah here's another I have loved this cologne since it came out in 87 sorry to see it discontinued I will have to rely on other favorites you know guys I'm telling you this is definitely one that I wish they would bring back um, and unfortunately you know even if I hype it up and you feel like you want to try it, I'm telling you, you can check on eBay. This one guy I got it from here. Let me see. Uh, his name was John Fruzina, F-R-U-Z-Y-N-A. And um, like I said, he shipped it to me really quickly uh, from Illinois. So I, I got it in just a, a few days. And I'm really happy I, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Like I said, for $30. And the same guy has a little bit larger, like the 1.7 ounce bottle, and I think he's asking like 50 for that one. Um, I mean, you know, like I said, it's not for everybody, but man, I'm so happy to have this. It just brings back memories. I'm telling you, this is, um, it's an exotic fragrance for sure. Um, it's a comforting fragrance and, uh, and and it's got a, a really a nice bouquet type of woody floral spicy scent it's just beautifully done so you know anybody who has experienced this one drop a comment and tell me what you thought of it um like i said it, it was nothing nothing like expensive or anything like that it, it's not your top of the line designer fragrance it never was but uh i'll tell you what if it had a designer name on there anybody could charge whatever they wanted for this stuff because it's very unique very interesting smelling fragrance and uh definitely one of my favorites so yeah like i said it's just unfortunate because getting a hold of this one 
and and for something that old, it still smells the same. It, it actually may smell even better than it did back then. But wow, man, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, it's got that old school thing going on. But uh, oh man, I love it. So I'm glad I I'm glad I got my hands on this. I'm gonna keep this forever. And be careful because if you drop it, it will spill out. You know, it's not a sprayer top. So anyway. That's my review of Iron by Cody, 1987. See you next time.